Father, for thy bounty, which we are about to receive. The Lord make us truly grateful. Amen. Amen. Is it true what I heard today, Michael? Were you fighting with the Western boy? Yeah, Western attack, Richard. What am I supposed to do? You don't bite the hand that feeds us. Oh. So, so this is the, the table of plenty that the Weston Company provides. That's not what I'm talking about, Michael, and you know it. I'm fearful of the damage you've already caused this family. Michael, mind your manners. Your father has enough on his mind as it is. Did everybody make it out last night? Everybody but Seamus. <sighs> Seamus Lafferty. Crushed to death. Precarious situation you're in, my dear. Seems you've no place to live. Fortunately, I'm in need of another servant. Fortunately for me, that is. We'll have none of that. I wish I could have given you a better life. Well, why don't we just leave here, Paul? Uh, well, there's nothing good here. <laughs> that take money. Lots of it and a place to go and we got neither. Well, how is it that we got nothing? Weston's got everything. We have families starving and they're dying all around us and Weston's just it's fatter and richer up there. Mm. He's got to change around here. Bob. Don't dwell on that. That'll eat you alive. That'll swallow you whole like the mines. Now you've seen what happens to people that go up against the company. Uh, you best be forgetting about the Lafferty girl too. She's better off there, you know that. You don't want to see her starving in the streets. Mr. Franklin has committed 200. Mr. Dorio has committed 150. Thank you for your continued being of you. <laughs> and I apologize for doing business. Good of you, Doppel. Thank you. Yes, it's absolutely Business hasn't been as good as I would have liked this year. Beg your pardon, sir, but 95% of them have been making quota. The workers have never been so productive. Then the quota is too low. I see, I'm sorry. Well, it seems to me the men have too much time on their hands as it is. Listen to them. Now, if there are no further interruptions, a toast. To future business, and to the erecting of the New York City skyline with the finest iron in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Western Mining. Ah, oh, this is going. Yes, it is. Weston has a lot of class.
because Mikey kicked his little one's ass. <laughs> Mr. Weston's never fair. <laughs> because on his balls he's got no hair. <laughs> I brought you some fresh linens. Bring them here. To me. Trash. I own you. He wants to eat me. So they returned to the quarry, and the fox asked the serpent to reconstruct the scene. But the serpent was reluctant to get back into the hole from which he was rescued. So the fox, a recent emigre from Paris, said, Well, I understand. A serpent like yourself does not have the ability to get into a hole like that. The serpent said, I can get into any hole I want. And he slithered right back in, at which point the fox shouted to the peasant, Shut him in! Shut him in! And the peasant rolled the boulder right back over the serpent, whose head was barely visible. Fox looked him straight in the eye and said, Well, serpent, is this exactly how it was when the peasant found you? No, you don't have to answer, for here you shall stay for the rest of your days. Remember, you yourself said, Every good deed should be repaid by a bad deed. <laughs> <laughs> you also said, Va faire un coulé, but I'm not going to translate that. <laughs> but tell us, oh man, who's the fox? Well, Charles. That depends on whether you're talking about our personal or our professional relationship. Speaking of professional relationships, when is the meeting in New York? I received a telegram this morning. Due to the recent union activities, they'd like to move forward as soon as I return. That's excellent news. I take it you'll visit from time to time? Oh, yes, of course. I suppose you'll be needing a servant or two. Take the new girl, if you like. 